Assalamualaikum Hi everyone I'm Cikgu Niswan Okay guys In previous lesson You have learned the ideas of the atomic model of Bohr and Planck Bohr's realization that the atom's energy is quantized That electrons are restricted to specific energy levels or orbits Example Lyman series is formed when electrons fall from higher energy level to n equals to 1. Do you still remember that? Further investigation where the concepts from quantum mechanics was used to propose a new atomic model, the quantum mechanical model of the atom. This model used a term orbital which refers to the region or volume in space around the nucleus where that probability of finding a particular electron is high. As you can see here, orbitals have a variety of different possible shapes. For chemical system known at this time, only the S, P, D and F orbitals are required. But for STFP and syllabus, you just should be able to describe the shape of the S and P orbitals only. Alright students, now, can you tell me any idea that you have when you see this atomic figure of an atom? Yes, you are correct. The atom consists of different type of orbitals. As you can see, we have one S, two S, two P, and 3s orbitals. We also can see that their shapes are different. Actually, scientists use quantum numbers to describe an atomic orbital. The quantum numbers describe orbitals energy level and size, orbitals shape, orbitals orientation in space. This is s orbital. The s orbital is spherical. It's non-directional meaning that it looks the same from any direction. These are p orbitals. The p orbitals have dumbbell shapes and are directional. As you can see, the three p orbitals are aligned along perpendicular axis. We have pz, px, and py orbitals. We have carbon and neon atoms. Alright students, you don't have to worry about the electronic configuration written there. We will discuss about it in the next section. Just to say that um, the six electrons of carbon atoms will occupy the 1s, 2s and 2p orbitals. Whereas neon atom has 10 electrons. So the 10 electrons will occupy 1s, 2s, and 2p orbitals in the atom. An orbital is associated with a size, a three-dimensional shape, and an orientation around the nucleus. Together, the size, shape, and position of an orbital represent the probability of finding a specific electron around the nucleus of an atom. Notice that the overall shape of an atom is a combination of all its orbitals. Thus, the overall shape of an atom is spherical. The principal quantum number, n, is a positive whole number that specifies the energy level of an atomic orbital and its relative size. A higher n value means that the size of the energy level is larger. That's all for today, students. See you in the next section. Bye!